Well, the disappearance of an Auburn University graduate in 2006 has remained a mystery for years. Peter Van Sant takes a closer look at how a friend en ended up being tried for the murder for this week's 48 Hours. On June 10th, 2006, Lori Slazinski, a recent Auburn University graduate in Alabama, planned to have a girls' night with her best friend, Lindsey Braun. She called me around 6.30 and said, I'm gonna stop by the store, pick up the drink mixes, and then I'll be headed to your house. But Lori never showed up, and this Walmart video is the last image of her. Initially, her disappearance was treated as a missing persons case. But everything changed when four days after she vanished, her car suddenly exploded on a desolate cul-de-sac. The car was right here, dead in the center, engulfed in flames. Mark Whitaker is a special agent with the Alabama State Bureau of Investigation. Was Lori in this car? Lori was not in the vehicle. Lori's mother, Arlene Slazinski, was beyond frightened. The feelings were just unbelievable of fear and knowing something really bad has happened. Investigators soon focused on one of Lori's friends, Rick Ennis. Ennis denied he had anything to do with Lori's disappearance, but police say Ennis was the last person to see Lori that day. He had scratch marks on him. And there was something else about Rick Ennis something that happened when he was 12 years old. Retired state trooper, John Clark. He's sitting back there in that seat behind you. And I said, where are your parents? And he looks right back at me and he says, I killed them both. And a reminder, you can catch 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10 p.m. right here on CBS.